The comparison involves three electric hatchbacks, the MGZ SEV, Volkswagen ID.3, and Renault Megane E-Tech Electric. The MGZ SEV stands out with a significantly lower price, making it an attractive option for potential buyers. The cars are built on new electric platforms, offering long wheelbases and short overhangs. In terms of design, the Renault Megane has a more voluptuous shape, and its interior is considered the most luxurious, featuring high-quality materials, plush seats, stitched cloth on the dashboard, and a sharp touchscreen. The Volkswagen ID.3 aims for progressive interior styling but falls short due to hard and cheap-feeling materials. Performance-wise, the Renault is slightly more powerful, with 220 bhp compared to 204 bhp in the others. The MGZ SEV has a lower power output and experienced a slight power reduction after being driven hard. The Volkswagen ID.3 has a torque advantage, allowing it to accelerate slightly faster than the others. On the road, the Renault offers a composed and well-controlled chassis, providing a taut but not harsh ride. The Volkswagen ID.3 delivers a soft and reassuring driving experience but may feel uneasy on bumpy roads. The MGZ SEV feels more like a crossover, with firm suspension and more noise from the tires. All three cars have similar WLTP range figures, but in mixed use, the MGZ SEV had an advantage, offering around 230 miles compared to 200 miles for the Volkswagen ID.3 and 220 miles for the Renault Megane. Charging times are similar, taking about 35 to 40 minutes for 10 80% on a 150 kilowatt charger. In conclusion, the Renault Megane Tech Electric is praised for its design, luxurious cabin, operating system and sophisticated driving experience. The MGZ SEV offers a cost-saving advantage but has some rough edges and lacks refinement. The Volkswagen ID.3, while refined, is criticized for its unfinished cabin and human-machine interface, HMI. The Renault emerges as the winner in this comparison.